eyes Mr. New Mobile here. Samsung's main flagships have two different processors and which one you'll get depends on the very left and it isn't something that been doing. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter. By clicking the links in the description. Recently Samsung has been dual sourcing chipsets, going as far back as the Galaxy Note tray which debuted back in 2013 the upcoming Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20. Oh trouble also have two different processors US China and Canada will get the newly announced Snapdragon 865 Plus processor, which by the way, the first mobile chipset to surpass the 3GHC CPU clock speed ceiling. Not only that, but it also offers a 10% increase in both CPU and GPU speeds compared to the Snapdragon 855 which was released earlier this year with the Galaxy, as 20 family folks over at the US will get a faster and improved Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra the rest of the world will have to deal with an inferior product yet again. Earlier there were room Snapdragon. Also PS20 was about 20%, but it looks like the new Exodus chipset is not happening. I said, it was tweeted that Samsung will continue with the Exit Nose 990 processor in the Galaxy Note 20 well phrased. On said hat Max Weinbach also confirmed that there are no references to any new chipset in the firm right, except the Snapdragon 865 Plus, and hence the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra will use Exit Nose 990 this is bad. I mean really bad because the performance disparity. On the Note 20 variants between the Exit Nose and Snapdragon will further increase, compared to the years 2012, it was 20%, now the Note 20 even go up to 30%, that's huge. That's the type of difference you expect from a mid-range or any kind flagship. I really don't understand what's going on in Samsung's mind. How did even think that selling the same concept for the same price, but one with an inferior performance, is even fair to their consumers? People are already mad about the disparity on the S20. But now this has taken it to another level. This is only have another one that will surely make you lose your nerves. Apparently the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra that Kini has doesn't support 120Hz headquarters plus resolution can only use it at Felicity, plus any for one quantity. Plus, you need to turn down the refresh rate to 60Hz. Just like the Galaxy is 20, Genie says the Note 20 Ultra that he has is on a pre-release software. So there is a possibility that Samsung may add the support for quantity plus at 120Hz in the final retail furniture, and you maybe have live pictures of the Galaxy Tab at 7 Plus, thanks for the certification authority safety careers website, it looks exactly like your renders. We saw a few weeks ago. Not only that, but we also have the official press renders of the Galaxy, but it's been sweet as one of the weirdest wearables I've seen so far, Samsung will operate in three color variants, including that metallic bronze piece will have active noise cancellation, something they don't have on the Galaxy box, plus rumor prize for this is $150 cheaper than the Butts Plus course, without being sad for all the latest update joy and exceptional smartphone experience matron smartphones are getting better, as the segment saw some major technological leaps, resulting in mid-tier phones that feel every bit as capable as modern fractures, as top and phone prices continues to creep up the mid-tier is more appealing than ever. This is especially true for Samsung's mid-range phones, the past 18 months or so. Samsung's mid-range phones such as the Galaxy A series and M series have gotten significantly better speaking of the M series soon it will get a new member successor to the authority the Galaxy and 41 have come across details about the battery that appears to belong to the Galaxy and 41 thank on the Galaxy and 41 yes 7000. The rated capacity mentioned here is 6800 mAh, but as you know there is a difference between rated capacity and actual typical capacity. For instance, the Galaxy S20 Ultra has a rated capacity of 4855 mAh, while the typical capacity is 5000 mAh, so this will mean the Galaxy N41 will have the largest battery that they've ever seen on a Samsung phone. In fact, is compatible to the batteries in some big cabinet out some of. You might be wondering why said that mid-range phones are getting such massive batteries, while their upcoming flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is only rumored to have a 4,500 mAh unit Well, it's simple lack of room for a bigger batteries in fractures. The Aspen case in order from inside the camera sensors are much bigger vibration motor is bigger, not to mention sleek profile wireless, charging, and things like water carpet, cleaning system, and more eats up a lot of space inside the flagships, and hence they can put crazy better numbers like this without inviting sex anyway. 
the Galaxy N41 will be a based company, which is TCL's China startup to electronics technology. Wonder why would they even do that when they have their own display division which happens to be the best in the world? Well to lure the component, because it may sound a bit weird, but Samsung Mobile and Samsung Display are sister companies, which means Samsung Mobile is still bidding on the system, affirms components like any other OEM out there to sourcing displays from a Chinese OEM, is bound to improve its profit margins, although not by much, but every little bit helps. In the entry-level price range for Android smartphones, a fiercely contested segment in virtually all parts of the world's profitability is debatable at best part from the battery. Not much else is known about the handset, except the screen sizes can be 6.7 inches flash D+, and interestingly, there are some Catholics a few months ago that showed the potential design of the handset was like his predecessor, the Galaxy N41 will have, a poncho cut out the left and a bigger camera module on the back. What remains to be seen as if Samsung has plans to launch this in the near future, but with an appearance on safety couriers to see tech. Please consider subscribing. As we are back with the Galaxy Note 20 news last time we talked about the official look at the Note 20 Ultra it is, by the way, still live on Samsung's website. According to Mac everything will be on point as can have 5G it's got a lot to give you at that price. But out of all the devices the base Galaxy Note 20 model just makes no sense to be at that $1000 prize. Let me know your thoughts. How Samsung should price the base. Note 20 model. Samsung is still trying to work out how sales of that flagship is 20 series. Well, didn't really do that well, and it is unfortunate because the global situation has to be blamed, in part, but it does continue a trend where people aren't really choosing Samsung flagships anymore. Maybe even kind mid-range phones and bigger numbers, but when the Galaxy Note 20, it looked like Samsung had actually listened to where their customers were going and designed iPhone then at least that's what we thought the Galaxy Note 28 flat screen fine. Maybe a cheaper, more affordable flagship phone from Samsung that their customers would buy in big numbers. That's what I thought that's what a lot of other people thought as well, but the last few days we now getting leak prices and suggested prices from in the note leakers, and well it is suggesting that this phone is just going to be as expensive as the per increase, and of course we have to take those prices with a pinch of salt, because we just start note that the real price is also when it comes to grid prices, they can be different to other European prices, definitely different to American US UK prices as well. But now we have one of the world's most now Samsung, the kids trying in with what he thinks the next 20 cost 999 bucks for the Galaxy is 20, which just seems kind of expensive. We were hoping with the lower storage options. Also, the flat display which is cheaper for Samsung to implement that they would therefore be able to give us a more affordable price. Also the screen, not just flat out a full HD screen, not a cord actually screen and a 60Hz again. Yes, we have almost confirmed League stating that Sensing is still bringing Exodus 990, the most hated processor on the planet, when the Galaxy Note 20 models. If you're watching this video from United States, South Korea, Canada or even China. Congratulations because you're going to get the best of the best disease Snapdragon A65 plus you are Samsung special child, but rest of us from UK your India and other regions, ready to get the worst, which is the Exodus 990, and there was a big hole for the Exodus 990, do I mean Samsung going with Sabic in A65 plus in the US, it makes sense for them to up their game, and we know Samsung does learn from their mistake, but I guess not this time, because it is still coming with the Exynos 990 chair couple months ago, when this whole chair page started, Samsung actually actually gave their official response regarding this whole situation, and according to them, what processors were tested in the lab, the same kind of performance test standard. They were equal, but that's actually not the case. One of the big problems with the Exodus 990 chair is that it throttles. If you have problems with the Exodus 990 chair is that it throttles. If you are a gamer was going to play games for longer period of time. If you play Bob G or any other game. The Exodus 990 will start with throttle, is also not utilizing the latest ARM cores, instead is using Samsung's own Mangel's core, which Samsung has actually quit, and they're not really using it for the Exodus 1000, but this is what they did, and it's a big mistake, and which is why the CPU gains are not as much of the snapping as 65, maybe Samsung has fixed the chortling problem, or they have done some overclocking to match the performers with the Snapdragon, a 65 vs 5 plus we don't know now I have used the Exodus 990 for a couple of months on the S20 Ultra and is fine if you're not a gamer, if you don't really care about long hours gaming sessions. I'm not a smartphone gamers. So for me it is still a very smooth fast experience, and not really faced any issue with battery, but still this is a phone with an inferior chair, and there is a better version of the stone out there in a certain region, and that alone is a major reason to be solve a lot of people paying dog dollars for inferior, and that alone is a major reason to be solve a lot of people paying dog dollars for inferior product. 
It's undefendable said the Exodus 990 comes out with the same kind of configuration as it has on the S20 devices, that I'm pretty sure that a lot of people will be buying the Galaxy Note 20 phones, now all of our phones will still be coming. It's Snapdragon processor, so anyone going for the Galaxy C42 should not be buried. But this is what it is and is can be really bad for Samsung. I'm just really sad. Honestly, even at Samsung fixing the trolling issues. It is still an inferior product that is using different custom cores that are made by Samsung, and is starting to be as good as stabbing a 65 plus, or even caulking a 65 chip certain international market. I think it's very very unfair for Samsung fans probably be better spending that money on one, plus a Pro or Find Extra Pro which by the way, is my very phone and my current camera phone right now 4040B at 120Hz plugs of RAM, 60s base consume 5 to achieving your memory grows fast, is why charging I mean this phone really sounds your memory grows fast, is why charging I mean this phone really sounds to me like a proper ultra phone tag, and I'll still be doing my coverage in the Note 20 Ultra, and most likely, I will be able to get the car conversion, because because it's really hard, because these are just for specific markets. If you are living in those regions, consider yourself lucky and again I'm sorry we had this build up of news for the Exodus 990 do an assault just a disappointment, if Samsung really is doing that is that this should bring the price down for the Exodus 990 models in the certain regions. I guess that would be okay, but I know a lot of people are still the man, and that's highly unlikely considering Samsung still thinks that this chip is almost as good as the A65X65+, Plus. I could just wait for the Exodus by Nanometer, and the chair of next year. I mean, let me know your thoughts. The Samsung international user should do in this case scenario, and guess you don't know August 5 is the date for the official announcement. I hope we see some miracle in the coming days, but yeah. Very disappointing in the drop your thoughts in the comment below and please subscribe, like the video, in the drop your thoughts in the comment below and please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.